I'm David, this is Bonsai Fly and today I'll be showing you the transformation of this Tigerbug Ficus. At this point I already had the tree for about one and a half years. Unfortunately I didn't film the process up until now, but here's a quick picture slideshow. All right, back to August 2021. As you can see, the tree is overgrown with weeds, so I'm getting rid of those. Now the tree looks much cleaner. I planted the little ficus in hopes that it would fuse with the trunk to make it wider, but that didn't work. I removed branches coming from the same spot and defoliated the tree. Then I started wiring. I always try to anchor the wire on two branches of the same thickness. Bending branches downwards imitates weight and therefore age. Bending branches sidewards imitates the branches struggle to find light. Spreading the branches out also makes it seem like they are striving towards the light and it also prevents the foliage from only growing in one direction. Mm -hmm. 
and now the branches are drooping just to come back up at the end. I'm now going to try to fuse the little ficus cutting with the main trunk again. This cutting actually came from this very tree and once it had grown roots I planted it in the same container. To get the two plants to fuse, I carve out little sections of the trunk and then attach the small ficus with tags. Now in my opinion the largest flaw on this tree is that the trunk is very thin still. When the little ficus eventually fuses the trunk will be thicker in the place that it has fused. Also the tree will have gained extra roots to draw strength from. And what's even better the little branches coming from the small ficus can eventually be used as sacrifice branches to further thicken the trunk. I'm also carving out dead wood to make it easier for the tree to heal. Now it's time for a repot. The tree's pretty tall and slender now, so I want to reduce the visual height by putting it into a more shallow container. I was actually hoping to uncover a potential Nibari and was actually kind of shocked that there weren't as many roots as I had hoped. As you can see there was still a lot of black soil, which I didn't take out with the last repot one and a half years ago because, well I had just started bonsai and honestly didn't know what I was doing. I'm gonna do better this time. This is the new pot that I chose for the tree. As you can see it's shallower. What sold me on this pot is that I think that the delicate feet harmonize very well with the slenderness of the tree. <laughs> 